Hey, BC. It's a Jonathan, your cheap and cheerful record collector. I hope everybody's doing well out there today. Um, I'm doing much better. Got rid of my cast, my broken wrists. I'm sort of uh, recovering quite nicely. And because of that, I'm able to go out digging. So I went uh, last week. I met with uh, met up with Brian from Shamrock and Records. And we hit downtown Portland. Uh, Portland, Maine, that is, not the Oregon. And did some digging. So I found some stuff. I thought I'd share it with you. Um... I've really been, lately been getting into what they call new grass music. Uh, it's a bluegrass recorded more recently um, by younger players. Some great stuff. First record I found is uh, the White Brothers, which is basically the new uh, Kentucky Colonels. This was a live album recorded in Sweden, 1973, and it's Clarence White and Roland White. Um, both of them are from Maine, which is nice because not a lot of musicians from Maine make it uh, nationally. Um, Clarence White, as you know, might have known, uh, played with the birds for a while and then unfortunately was killed very young. Uh, he was uh, unloading equipment for a gig and was hit by a, uh, another car and was struck down and killed very young. But this is, I haven't played any of these yet. I've just cleaned them yesterday. But uh, they all looked out, looked really nice, cleaned up, really nice looking. This is on um, Rounder Records. So looking forward to digging into this one, recorded live, 1973, in Sweden. Clarence, Eric, and Roland. So it's uh, Clarence White on guitar and vocals, Roland White on mandolin and vocals, Eric White on bass, and Alan Mend on banjo and harmony vocals. So the White Brothers. Speaking of the White Brothers, I also found Roland White, more of a solo album by him. I Wasn't Born to Rock and Roll, great cover, um, but I love to cook. <laughs> <clears throat> so um, it really doesn't say who's on here with him. And again, I haven't heard to, haven't had a chance to listen to this yet. Um, well, my mistake, yeah, Roland White on mandolin and lead vocals. Uh, Kenny Wirtz on guitar, G Roger Bush on bass, Alan Mundy, etc. This is on the Ridge Runner record label out of Fort Worth, Texas from 1976. Like I said, I haven't chan hadn't had a chance to listen to any of these yet, um, but I'm pretty sure I know what they sound like. Really looking forward to digging into this. Roland White. In that same vein, how about... Peter Rowan from the Rowan Brothers at one point. This is the first Whippoorwill. And this is on Sugar Hill Records from 1985 with Peter Rowan and Alan O'Brien, Sam Bush, Bill Keith, Richard Green, Buddy Spitzer, and Roy Husky Jr. And this is on Sugar Hill Records. So another great new grass kind of album. Cleaned up really nice. Found all these in one, one store downtown. Didn't pay much for them. Really happy to add this to the collection. And while I was there, I found another Peter Rowan album. This one is Medicine Trail on Flying Fish. And this one has an inner sleeve. And I was looking at the inner sleeve. There's the inner sleeve. And on this record with him is, um, where did I see it? Doesn't matter. I thought I saw, um, well, I don't know, Jerry Douglas is on here, Dobro, on a couple of songs. Um, Flaco Jimenez, that's it. Flaco Jimenez, who is the accordion player who I saw years ago with um, Ry Cooter in New York, probably in the uh, early 70s. So looking forward again, another Peter Rowan, another new grass album. There's the flip side. Peter Rowan, Medicine Trail, 1980. Flying Fish Records. And one more, sort of in that same vein, but not exactly. One I've been looking for for a while. And it's uh, Michael Naismith 
from the monkeys and this is his album tatamont to treason volume one michael naismith and the second national band um i have the red white and blue albums by him but i didn't have this one as on the uh dynaflow or dynaflow dynaflex <laughs> uh pressing and stereo and i'm really looking forward again to digging into this one tatamont to treason Michael Naismith. Next one I saw, I've been, I had this before. It was a really beat copy. I had to get rid of it. And I'm so happy to find a new, uh, another one, but also an original pressing, but a much better condition. And it's uh, Eric Burden and War, Black Man's Burden. Um, I can't show you the inside. It's a little bit X-rated or R-rated. There's the back. And it has painted black. He does two different versions of painted black on here. Actually, three versions of painted black. Two record set. This album is so funky. I mean, it is just, the groove is just intense. So I cleaned this, played this yesterday. Sounds freaking great. And a great, great album. Eric Burden and War on MGM label. After obviously after he left the uh, the animals and just funky as hell. Looking for a date, I want to say it's early seventies. There you go, Eric Burden and War, and at another shop, I couldn't resist. Eric Burden wins the change. This one I can show you the inside. Gatefold. I love the back picture of Eric on the back. Always been a big fan of Eric Burden, even when I was a kid, way back when, in the 60s, when they were everyone's playing. I was much more a uh, Animal, Stones, and Kinks fan than I was a Monkees, Beatles, um, Jerry and the Pacemakers fan. So there you go. This one he does Winds of Change, Paint It Black again, but the first version he did on this one, San Francisco Woman, San Francisco Nights, I'm sorry, um, Good Times. The New Animals, Eric Burden, Winds of Change. And then I was into Goodwill, because I'm back again. I can dig again. I can drive. So I went to Goodwill last week, and I found this record. I have one album by him, so I figured I would grab this. It was only $2, and it's uh, Ruby Braff, great uh, trumpet player. This is his album, You're Getting to Be a Habit with Me. It uh, includes Hank Jones and Milt Hinton with him on here. On... Stereocraft label. So good jazz on here. Again, haven't spun it yet, but I plan to give this a spin today. Original recording from the 1950s, Ruby Braff. Also there, another jazz album I couldn't pass up. I have a lot by them, but I figured, what's one more for $2? MJQ, the Mon Jazz Quartet. This is One Never Knows, No Sun in Venice. A film score by John Lewis. So it's uh, the original band, John Lewis, Milt Hinton, Percy Heath, and Connie Kay on drums on the uh, Atlantic label. Cover sort of beat, but the record seems to be pretty clean. So looking to dig into this one too very soon. MJQ, Modern Jazz Quartet. And the last one was a, uh, a gift from a friend of mine. He's a big Goodwill shopper, but he doesn't buy records, but he looks for things. He sees them, he'll pick them up for me, which is really nice. And this is a, an original from 1956, I think it is. Uh, Pete Seeger, uh, the original Talking Union with the Almanac Singers. Almanac Singers would be Woody Guthrie and Lee Hayes and some other people. And they don't really mention who the people are who sing on the, sings on this. But these are all songs about union songs. We Shall Not Be Moved, Roll the Union On, Solidarity Forever, uh, The Union Made, Which Side Are You On, etc. cetera. Uh, Woody and Pete did a lot of time in the 40s traveling around the country, performing at Union Halls. It has a booklet on it with all the lyrics and talking about the songs, which is sort of nice. Yeah, the original lyric, the thing there is pretty cool. And this is a insert 
sort of got messed up over the years that um, Folkways would put into the records, basically saying if you want that booklet, you can send off for 50 cents per booklet, but plus 15 cents mailing and shipping, and they'll send you another booklet if you lost yours, you want another one. That's sort of cool to little thing to keep there. So that's uh, some of the new purchases I've gotten. Um, looking forward to go out and digging some more. Um, actually buying a new some new equipment tomorrow, and I will do a video to show you my new equipment, which I'm very excited about. So hang on and keep looking out for that. And um, I want to thank all my new subscribers. Um, if you like what you saw, please give me a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And until next time, peace.